Well, folks, this is it. Let's go into Torian to defeat the Metroids and kill the brain. Welcome one and all to the grand finale of Metroid for the NES. This is Torian. It's a very dangerous place because we've got to contend with these things. The Metroids. They're very dangerous parasitic alien life forms. If they latch on you, they can kill you quickly. So be ready to fight them with all you've got. If one happens to latch onto you, use your bombs to get them off. They're not always guaranteed to float off, but it's what you gotta do to get the job done. Nice try! Alright. This is actually going by a lot smoother than I thought. Well, so far. And these guys are actually very generous with their drops. If you get an energy drop, they give you 30 health back, and if you get a missile drop, 30 missiles. Here we go. And now things start to get a little on the unfair side. These stupid spaghetti lasers will hurt you as the room transitions, so that's kind of a dick move there on the part of the game. I mean, it's pretty minor, but come on. you think the game designers would be a little more generous with that. But of course, with the Metroids dropping such generous power-ups, it's something I'm willing to overlook. Alright. Missiles, please? No? Come on. Don't be such a cheap wad. There we go. That's what I like to see. Aha, gotcha. Take you out. Thank you. Oh, come on. More missiles. I want more missiles. <sighs> Alright, let's be on our way. Now this room gets pretty problematic because these spaghetti -o lasers will just start shooting at random points and move at inconsistent speeds. Like these ones are going super fast, and these ones are going super slow. It's especially bad when you're trying to dodge a bunch of Metroids that are trying to kill you. But we're doing fine. Just fine. Ah, That's okay. Minor thing. Gotcha. Catch me if you can, spaghetti fuckers. Okay, I think we're just about at the end of the room. Three more Metroids and then... Mm, that's it. Oh, it's worth mentioning that in this game, it's not mandatory to kill the Metroids, but since it's in the instructions for the game, I'd say, yeah, definitely kill them. I mean... It's part of the game, so why not? Yes, got him. Come on, come get me! Nice! Perfect! Ah, 225 is my max. Now, I know there are missile packs that I did miss picking up, but... I'm not too concerned about it. After all, item collection has no bearing over the different types of endings in this game. Bada bing, bada boom! Who's next? Haha, <laughs> gotcha! Like those reflexes? They'll save your life in a big time hurry. Too slow. Way too slow. And this guy's just sitting there like a chump, so let's jump up and put him out of our misery. Next. Thank you. And goodbye. And that is our last Metroid. Oh, look at that. We're going into the Mother Brain fight fully maxed out. Fingers crossed, guys. This is where things get really, really hairy. While the Mother Brain cannot attack herself, her defenses are pretty stellar. Got a ton of these stupid spaghetti -o things and these Zebatites that are pretty much a life support system. If you're not fast with the lasers, or your missiles, I should say, they will regenerate at a very fast pace. <clears throat> a good tip to keep in mind is... Use your freeze ray to get these things stationary. Do that, and you can use all the time in the world to fry these Zebatites. Ah. Of course, you gotta contend with these cannons, too, so... Be fast, be furious, and don't take no shit from nothing. And if you can, jump on up with a screw attack, start spamming your missiles, and then... Pop goes the Zebatite. As for me, I'm gonna try and use the freeze ray to stop these things, because they're really getting on my nerves. Son of a bitch. There we go. That's good. And there's the brain. Almost got her. There we go. 
Ah, damn. Son of a bitch. Get out. Not happy about that. Come on. Come on, I didn't even screw attack there. Okay, I've got the j jar shattered open. Fucking SpaghettiOs. I don't even like you. I know it's a crime me saying that, but SpaghettiOs are death in this game. But whatever. I am death incarnate, and the brain is about to fry. Take it all. Take it all. Is that all you got? Come on. Give me a challenge, brainy. Nice try. Stay still. Alright, now you're mine for the taking. Nice try. Ugh. Damn, things got some push to it. What? No. F Do not touch me. Ugh. Come on. Don't double shoot Samus. and you should be toast. Come on. Is that it? Yes! The brain is fucked. Mother brain is no more. But we're not done yet. There's a time upset. We gotta get the hell out of here. We've got a thousand seconds. Sped up seconds at that. So we have no time to dilly-dally. Come on, Samus. You can do this. I believe in you. Make the great escape and prove yourself to be the hero of space. Uh -oh. That's okay. Didn't really lose anything there. Just keep going. There's not a whole lot of room for error here because the platforms are so small. But, with a little bit of practice, you should be just... No, no, no! Okay, that wasn't so bad. But come on, get back in the game. You can do this. How much further do we gotta go? It seems like forever. Yes, there it is. There's our escape. Alright! Game, set, and match! And there stands Samus on the planet's surface. Great! You fulfilled your mission. It will revive peace in space. But it may be invaded by the other Metroid. Pray for a true peace in space. And now let's see how well we did. We got ourselves the good ending. Not the best, but still pretty damn good. Samus sheds her power suit and reveals a very feminine figure as a reward for doing such a good job. If I'm not mistaken, to get that particular ending, you need to finish the game between one and three hours. Obviously, I've met that criteria. And in order to get the best ending, you also need to play the game very well. How well? Well, to get the best ending, you need to finish the game in under an hour. In fact, that's what I'm going to show off in a bonus video. But before I actually get onto that bonus video, a few thoughts about this game. It's awesome. It's not the first Metroid game I ever played, but it's all sorts of fun. It gave a lot of gamers the first start as far as Metroid goes, and it still holds up even to this day. No surprising, being 2016, it's also the 30th anniversary of this game's original release. So, as the credits roll by, I'm going to put down my controller, I'm going to breathe a sigh of relief, and I'm going to revel in the sweet victory that was my battle against Mother Brain. And I'm going to close the video here. So, until the bonus video, this is Jeremy Prouty from Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. Thanks for watching Metroid for the NES, and I'll see you in the bonus video. See you later, guys. Stay cool.